Hello and welcome to MaxSurf Webinar 4, Video 8 on Reporting in Hydromax. Hydromax has a range of options for generating reports, but each of these reports contain the same basic information. Some summary information, stability criteria checks, and the graphs and tables that result from the analysis. There are two options. You can either send the data to the built-in report in Hydromax that's been there for some years, well, more recently we've added an option to send the results out to Microsoft Word and in particular we've created an option to allow you to define your own Microsoft Word template documents, customize them and generate the report output inside those documents. We'd also like to remind you that there's an option to turn reporting on and off while you're working using the spool to report command at the bottom of the analysis menu and that's useful. You can turn off reporting while you're experimenting and then turn it on when you're ready to generate final output. If I switch over to Hydromax, let's just open up the edit menu and go to preferences and we'll see in the reporting options section that there's an option in here to send the report out to Word. Another option within that is to use Word templating and you can see that there's a field here where we define the location of the template document. Notice that that's a .dot document. That's a Microsoft Word document template document. It's a document for starting a Word document. So if we turn that option on, then I'm just going to quickly run an upright hydrostatics analysis, and uh, in the background, we'll switch over to Microsoft Word, and we'll, if we scroll through this document, we'll be able to see that uh, the document's been generated, and inside this document, some data will have been inserted. If we go to the view menu and turn on the document map, that's now called the navigation pane in the new versions of Word, then we can scroll through and see the structure of this document. So for example, I can scroll down until I find the hydrostatics section of the document and we can see the data that's been inserted from Hydromax. So how did that data get in there? Let's just close that template document and open it up from scratch and go back to that location where we were looking. And what we can see is that there are some keywords that have been inserted into this document. You can see there's a section of the document here enclosed in less than and greater than symbols where it says start hydro, description, table hydrostatics, graph hydrostatics, graph curves of form, and end hydro. This means that we've got a block of text where hydrostatics, upright hydrostatics data is going to be inserted and each of these keywords defines the type of data that should be inserted at that point. So when we run the analysis, Hydromax finds the location of this block and then inserts the table and graph at these locations. These can be placed anywhere within the document, so that means you can structure the document as you wish and uh, the data will be placed accordingly. If I go back to Hydromax and uh, switch to a large angle stability analysis and run my large angle stability analysis from 0 through to 180, we'll see when we go back to Word now that it's generated an, a stability block here and if I go down now to the large angle stability section my large angle stability data has been inserted into that document. It inserts the description at the start the load case information. This is inserted as a Microsoft Word table, so all of your Microsoft uh, Word table functions will work as usual in terms of selecting tables, resizing columns and so on. We no longer do any table splitting, we allow you to use the Word formatting to split your tables. And then the graph itself, the GZ curve, is inserted into the document. You can use the edit picture command in Microsoft Word if you want to go in here and uh, perhaps move labels around in the graph and that type of thing. So that's a standard Microsoft Office uh, picture that's inserted into that document. And the results, of course, are also inserted into the document as standard Microsoft Word tables. After each block of text has inser been inserted, uh, we're going past the stability criteria here, then the data will be inserted again at the end, the, uh, the keyword data and uh, that allows the next set of data to be inserted afterwards. If you want to insert your own data, of course you can copy and paste from an example, but actually in the template document we include a toolbar which has all of the standard 
uh, blocks of text defined as macros. So if I want to insert, say, a longitudinal strength block, I can just click that and those keywords will automatically be inserted into the document. So it's quite easy to customize and edit this document by looking at the existing data and using the macros to insert your own data. The template documents provide a very flexible way to define your own reports. Uh, we strongly recommend that you take a look at them and use them for the next type of stability book generation you might be involved with. Thank you for watching.